So real quick, I just wanted to announce that the Archer demo character that I have slowly been building ever since I started learning ZBrush a year ago is finally complete. And this is kind of a special moment for me because when I started making this character, it was also when I started my journey to try and step up my skills and transition from a low poly artist to a high poly 3D sculptor. And I went in with the intent to create high res characters that could specifically be brought to life in Unreal 5 and compatible with its physics engine. Now this was an extremely daunting task because at the time I had zero experience with Unreal, high poly stuff, and zero experience with ZBrush. Literally learning everything all over again. I had no clue what it was going to look like or where it was going to go, but a year later, as of today, I finally got not only the character model textured and animated inside of Unreal, but we also got the physics working on things like the sash around her waist, the quiver for the arrows, and her hair. In addition to all that, she is built from the ground up for Unreal 5, so she uses the exact skeleton rig and proportions as the default Unreal 5 female mannequin. But what the this means is that any animation that you can find from the Unreal Marketplace made for the mannequin, you can literally just drag and drop straight to her without the need for any retargeting. And all the physics for everything else automatically just does their thing. But by far my favorite thing about this character that I never really had before in my previous games is full custom color control. If you go into the project file and under material instances, you will see instances for the body and the armor. And if we click on the armor, you'll see colors over here that if you click, you can change to whatever you want. So for example, if we wanted to change her clothes from green to blue, we just go in and click here, we do it for the armor, and now do it for the body. And look at that, now she's blue. And if we wanted to change the color of her armor from silver to gold, all we gotta do is go into the armor instance, find the silver, and then change it to gold. So this is basically the type of system that I will be using for every one of my characters going forward. Now in the future, I'll definitely be adding more animations to her for RPG style attacks, and probably some more physics and sound effects for when she's moving around and jumping. But for now, essentially she functions exactly like the default third person mannequin. Anything you can do with the mannequin, you can do with her. So for anyone who is interested in adding her to your own Unreal project, you can find her on my ArtStation store over here. Installation is super easy. Once you download the file, you'll see something called RS Archer. You just drag that into your documents, where Unreal normally puts all of your projects. Then the next time you open Unreal, you can straight up just open the file. The personal license includes everything that I've shown you here. The full demo third person Unreal 5 project file, with the character mapped over the default mannequin, with all the physics, all the color customization features applied, ready to go out of the box. Something that I've also included for those of you who don't really care for the custom color system are standard baked texture maps that function just like any other normal texture. So if you just wanted to take her out of Unreal and apply her to your own rig in another software, you can find all the textures for her right here. Just remember that these are just normal textures and they do not work with the custom color system. And if you really like the character and you get the commercial license, then I'm also going to give you the bow and arrow that I have specifically designed for this character. The textures and materials are of course included, and I have also included two animations animations that I have created to start you off. You can, of course, just drag in any animations you want from the marketplace, but I always like to add some of my own personal custom animations to my work to give things a little bit more personality. So when I was designing this character, I was specifically thinking of her in terms of a Fire Emblem unit. And in Fire Emblem, you have two animations, a normal attack and a critical attack. So, here is her normal attack. And it was kind of hard to make a spinning bow and arrow animations, but uh, I did the best to kind of do what I could, so here's what I came up with. And I promise it will look a lot better once we add special effects and stuff, but for now, one normal attack animation and one critical attack animation, and the weapons are included in the commercial license. I have also included a separate version of the character where she is holding the bow and has bones in her hand to represent where the arrows and weapons should be. And I will be including the raw Maya files in case you want to go into the animation and change things yourself. But yeah, she is available now for anyone that wants to use her. But even if you have no plans to use this character, I just wanted to take a second to say thank you to everyone who has been watching and been a part of the channel this whole time. This character really is a summary of everything I've learned how to do in the last two years. And if you've been watching the tutorial videos of what we've learned between now and then, it's pretty insane to look back how far we've come. 
If you were part of the support squad, please understand that none of this would have been possible without you. If it wasn't for you guys supporting the channel each month, there is no way I would have ever had the time and resources to even pursue learning all these new things. And I'm grateful for all the people who bother to leave likes and supportive algo comments each video. Like really all of you guys together just make one of the most awesome and supportive communities out there and really inspires me to keep going and continue to learn new things and share whatever I find with you guys here. And I still stand by what I said in the beginning of the channel in that all of the information and knowledge needed to create everything I do is here completely free. And it's going to stay free for everyone trying to follow in our footsteps. To everyone out there, thank you so much for everything. I will do my best to keep it up. And as always, hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around.